Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is James and welcome back to The Soundline. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick tip on how to reset the tracking force for your turntable without the use of a digital scale. So a quick disclaimer, this will require your turntable to have an analog tracking force scale on the counterweight or somewhere else on the turntable so that you know what you're setting it to. Um, not all turntables have this, but in the case that yours does, this is a quick and easy tip on how to reset the weight to what it should be without the need for one of these expensive scales. Okay, so in the event that your turntable uh, gets knocked or played with and or, or you know, it has been a while since you last checked the weight of your cartridge and you want to make sure that that is tracking correctly. There is a wee trick you can do to get that set up right, but what that is going to require is your turntable to have this wee dial on the back here. See, our one has it next to the counterweight with a bunch of numbers and it um, spins independently of the counterweight, which means that we can manually reset it and then use it as a guide to help us set the correct tracking weight. So first thing I'm going to do is remove my anti-skate weight. Uh, some turntables have this just as a static weight, which is removable. Some turntables have it as a dial. If you have it as a dial, you're probably going to want to set it to zero so there is zero anti-skate, because that is going to affect our ability to set the tracking weight correctly. Uh, the next thing I'm going to want to do is actually remove the cover off my cartridge. If your cartridge has a protective cover, make sure you take that off. And I like to have a just a, a spare record sitting on the platter here because in the event that the needle goes down onto the platter, if you have like a, a, a slip mat or a, you know, a felt mat or a leather mat or something like that, that's not great for the needle to land on because it can catch on it and damage it. So a spare vinyl, like this is just an old one that we have that we don't really care what happens to it. So we just use that so that if the needle does go down, it is protected and doesn't land on anything that it's gonna catch on. So the next step is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this tone arm float, which basically tells me that if it is floating in mid-air, that it is at zero grams tracking weight, which is what we want. So, you can see there's a bit of weight to it. It's gonna fall if I let it go. So now, I'm just gonna adjust the counterweight further and further back. See, I'm getting close there. It's kind of bouncing around, but it is still falling. I'm just gonna put that down a bit further. That's pretty good. That's a wee bit too heavy towards the counterweight end. I'm gonna give it a bit. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So the idea with this is the fact that this is just sort of floating here freely, it means that the weight at this end of the tone arm and this end of the tone arm is equal. So now that we know that, you can say that this is effectively tracking at zero grams. So the next step is the wee numbers at this separate dial at the back here. I'm gonna to wanna to set that to zero. So it basically zeroes out the dial. So by holding the counterweight so that it doesn't move and then using my spare hand to spin the dial separately, I'm rotating it around until zero is at the top in line with my marker. And I'll just check that again that it's, I haven't moved the counterweight and that it's still happily floating. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, so the next step now that we have that zeroed out, is basically just to rotate the counterweight, bringing the dial with it until we reach what the dial is saying is the correct tracking force for the cartridge. So make sure you check the manual for your cartridge to check what the range of tracking force for your cartridge is. Most cartridges are around the two gram range, but there are outliers out there that will like to run on lower weights like 1.5 or higher like 2.5. But most cartridges have a tracking force range like this one here of 1.8 grams to 2.2 grams. So for that reason, I set most of my cartridges, I always check the specs first, obviously, but I'll set most of them to two grams, 2.0. So if I hold the tone arm and rotate just the counterweight, it is gonna bring the counterweight forward, applying more force to the cartridge. And I'm gonna keep rotating until my marker lines up with 20 because that is um, 2.0 grams. So now I have the marker lined up with 20. You can see now if I raise it up, there is force applying it down. Okay, so now theoretically, I have set my tracking force to two grams. Um, just to check how accurate I was and how accurate this method is, let's get the digital scale and we'll pop it on there and see how close to two grams we are. 
There we go. Now lower it down. If I've done this correctly, we should be at 2.00 grams theoretically. Oh, 1.99, 2.00, 2.00, there we go, perfect. As I say, for this technique to work, your turntable does have to have that dial at the back there, which you can you know, manually reset to zero grams and then bring it back up to the two or whatever it is that you're tracking at. But uh, yeah, I hope that tip has been helpful to some of you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up or leave a nice comment down in the comment section. I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Kakatiano.